One tier, two tier. Red fish, blue fish. We just made these cake stands. I used the glow forge for my design. And I used a cricket stencil for mine. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. And we do a new video every Friday. This week, we're continuing our series with the farmer's market. We have a new product to test out on you guys, and you can tell me what you think. We're doing a cake tray. I'm doing a single tier cake tray. Isn't that cool looking? I think it'll be good, but Garrett has He's to- taking it to a whole other level, and I'm doing two tiers. Yes, he did. He had to one-up me and say, wait, I think we could do a two tier. And he is going to engrave his design using the Glowforge and I am going to stencil my design using a stencil I cut on the Cricut. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. I just needed a 12 inch round and a 15 inch round. Oh, and then a piece for my middle, which is like a sofa foot. And then some other little feet. I guess mine has a lot more pieces to it. Right, it was, these are little tiny candlesticks. Uh, we found these at Hobby Lobby. Sorry, I opened it already. <laughs> these little guys. Gonna use them as feet. And I am using a 15 inch round. And this was serendipitous. That's a break it, you buy it kind of thing. It is. I was looking for something else and I picked this up in Michael's and I dropped it and it cracked and it broke. So uh, I glued it back together and we're gonna use that for this project. Now I won't sell it at the farmer's market. I'm just testing this out. <laughs> so I don't want you to think I'm gonna sell it like that. But once I got it here, I thought what a great base for this cake tray. So that's what I'm gonna use for mine. Step two. Oh, I had a backup. Step two. <laughs> Oh, now we're gonna paint. I'm gonna lay down a base coat of this tin white. It's like our go-to lately because we have so much of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with the base coat of this chalked up paint that we got from Auntie Tay in Slate because I'm gonna do two layers of paint on mine for distressing. Not me, I'm just doing one layer. One coat gear. One layer, two tears. Doing a lot of painting with this Tin white, tin tin tin, tin tin tin. We got these rounds at Lowe's. Lowe's. Yeah, they had them in twelves, fifteens, eighteens, and did you see some of them like were yeah, they were table big. size, right? Like Thirty six. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was really surprised. Step three. Now we're gonna do our designs. I'm gonna mask mine off using this giant masking tape. And then I'm gonna take it over to the Glowforge. Yep, it's just paper masking tape like you would see in a little roll, but in a big roll. And this is optimal for the Glowforge so that it doesn't leave burn marks on your project. Uh, and then you just peel it up. It's also great for layered painting. So you yeah. only peel up what you want to paint at that time. That's a little tip we've learned. And I'm going to cut out my design on the Cricut. So I'm gonna go do that. Here we just imported our SVG, sized it to the size of our board. Here you can see that we're sizing it to 11.7, which is saying that we need a larger mat, but it, we didn't really need it. We just used a 12 inch mat. We selected vinyl and click the flashing go button. We're using Ormask 813 here to just use the same vinyl setting. I imported the same image into the Glowforge app. I sized the image to the bottom tier. I'm gonna save that B for later. Then I selected what I thought was the closest material. I refocused that machine and then I just hit print. I took the honeycomb out so the board was a little low. So I put the top under the bottom and I gave it a try again. Now, once that was done, I had to rotate the board. 
and then I rotated the image, I removed what I already engraved, and then I tried to tweak it a little bit to make it a little more centered. Eh, really, now it looks a little wonky. Then I swapped the top and the bottom, and I engraved the B. I have my stencil all cut. Now I'm just going to peel the backer off and apply it to my 15 inch round. The thing about this stencil is, one, because I can't get my nails done, I have nothing to try and pull the backer off. <laughs> and then two, I have a bunch of paint on my fingers. I'm not sure this is going to work. I might have to go get this paint off first. Yep, I am still working on it. I know you're thinking to yourself, how is that possible? But I am still trying to peel this back. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So we put our hands, both of us did it now, oh no, over the detailed leaves and they stuck to our hands, so what a mess. See, it's kind of missing some pieces. Can you see it? <laughs> They're on my arm. <laughs> see? All right. Let's Doesn't always work out perfectly the first time. Let's cut it again. Let's cut it again. All right, let's do it. Mine's going swimmingly. So I decided this time to go ahead and distress it before I stenciled it. And you see that strip in there? I don't know what that is. It would not distress out. I finally got this stencil on. Wow, it was a killer. It was a killer. And mine is back from the Glowforge. So I'm going to remove all my masking tape. Uh, yeah, he did nothing but stand around and watch it work. I helped out. I helped you out. You that did. That thing was a monster. You did help me. I <laughs> did. Sting you. That thing is so tight, you'll get hurt. So my Mod Podge is barely dry. I'm not going to let it sit on here because I don't want it to get too dry and pull up the stencil. So I'm going to, while it's just barely dry, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my paint. Now if it gets too dry, it'll dry to the stencil and when you try to pull it up, it'll rip the paint or it'll just pull all the paint up with it. I have some uh, yellowing and some sin mo singe marks <laughs> from the smoke. So I'm just going to use some alcohol and a little bit of paper towel. Clean that right up. I think. I hope. Yes. What's it going to do the chalk paint? Mine say. Sweet. Dude. What's mine say? Dude. What's mine say? Against the grain. Paint's barely dry. Still looking a little shiny in some spots. Kim's impatient. Step four. Now we're going to glue it together with a little bit of this crazy Gorilla Glue. Yes, Garrett is still on his never-ending uh, quest for the fastest glue <laughs> adhesion on the market. Yes. So <laughs> when I find it, I'll let you know. <clears throat> he can't stand to wait for the glue to dry, and so he brought me these two little 
test pieces and he said, look, I just glued it. Can you even pull it apart? Can you even pull it apart? So, yeah. so we're going to try the Gorilla Super Glue on this project. So I have to take this little screw out of the bottom of my sofa foot and then I'm going to start gluing. You just really have to glue your kick piece on, right? Yep. Is that thing? I have my little stand and that's all I'm going to do. All right, what do you guys think? I like the quick dryness. I enjoyed the quick dryness of the Gorilla Glue. I also like my design. I think it looks very crisp, so I'm not even going to distress it, just leaving it like it is. You well, with the mistake on the bottom. I like mine. I like this farmhouse look. I think it looks great. I really was torn as to whether, so I distressed it and then stenciled on top, and I was torn as to whether or not I should distress this paint here. I think I'm going to leave it as is because I think the color I've chosen for the words kind of matches the distressed underneath so I think it looks good. I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I like it. We just got to find a way to mass produce those for the farmer's market. <laughs> yeah. This was a little easier to mass produce. That was a little more... Uh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think about our additions to the farmer's market? Which one should we bring? One or both, would you buy a cake stand at a farmer's market? It's just a thought. Tell me what you think. Yeah, let us know. Looks like we're about out of time. I gotta go make some dinner. So we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, yeah. He was dry enough to bounce. Yeah. You go in it. Yeah. Ooh. No, I can't do it. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do it, but I'm not quite I as practiced as Garrett. No, I don't. I did! I can flip it and catch it. The glue is that dry already. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try yours this way. Ooh, I'm going to try this way. How centered is my stand? Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh.